What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, we do have some market talk, some methods for you guys to make some MT. Before we get into the video, make sure to smash the like button, drop the sub. Please drop the sub. We're on the road to 11.5K and 12K. Yes, we just did 100,000 MT giveaway. We are going to announce the winner um, down below in the description. So, yeah, shout out to you. I saw your support on my channel Literally every time I post it, so yes, you are going to win the 100,000 MT giveaway. Shout out to you. And uh, yes, today we have MT Making Methods. We are selling MT on Xbox and PS4. If you are interested, make sure to hit me up on Twitter or Instagram. And yes, today, guys, we're going to go over the market. I haven't even looked at the market all day today. So we are going to show you guys what I think is going on. It's all honesty here. We're going to make some MT and whatnot. And yeah, let's get into it, man. Insane MT Making Methods. And then we have an insane Hidden Galaxy Opal gameplay right after this, man. This card I've been looking at for a while, and he's insane. He's a beast. We're going to go over that. And, yeah, let's get into the market, man. So, first off, right off the bat, we have one of the biggest market crashes in 2K history. It has been a while since we had a huge market crash. And, yes, we have Galaxy Opal Larry Bird going for a 120K. I understand there is a Go Larry Bird. But let me tell you, this Larry Bird is still going to compete with a lot of cards in the game, this is Larry Bird, man. This Galaxy Opal has dropped about 150,000 MT. Larry Bird, man, his pink diamond treated me well. His Galaxy Opal treated me well. Yes, there is a GOAT. I'm not grinding it. I want to grind it. But in my opinion, man, it's really not worth it. In I, I, No, no, it's worth it 100%. It's just for me, like, yes, I love Larry Bird, but I don't want to do it. I'd rather just buy this one for 120k. Don't want to verse the computers for like 24 hours. It's just not fun, especially at this time point in the game. But yeah, we got Larry Bird dropped. Joel MB dropped a ton. Chris Bosh dropped a ton. Blake Griffin dropped a ton. So literally, if you guys didn't sell your cards when I told you to, when the market was inflated like crazy, I think Saturday, Sunday, well, it's okay, man. I guess you could take the L and put it in your back pocket because I warned you. I told you something was coming. Some cards that are rare did go up a little bit, like Giannis Point Guard. He was going for really cheap yesterday. Galaxy Opal Shaq is finally starting to like reach reality at around 700k. He's been at a mill pretty much the whole time he's been dropped. Let's check out Tracy McGrady. These Tracy McGrady's, man, they're gonna be expensive forever. Like, I don't see T Mac ever dropping. He's still the best, like, shooting guard, point guard, small forward in the game. He's just so P, man. This Leap Year T-Mac is still one of the best in the game with a 98 three-point shot with great, great, great perimeter defense and steal. I mean, Tracy McGrady, man, you cannot go wrong with this card. Yes, he's very expensive. But, yo, other than, like, the big-name cards, pretty much, man, the market is definitely crashed. Like, Melo's down about 100,000 MT. Pascal Siakam, which, in my opinion, comparing him to Gal Galaxy Opal Anthony Davis... He's very similar. I'm not even going to lie. Like, this card compared to Galaxy Oval AD is so similar. And it's honestly crazy because Galaxy Oval AD is 2,900, 3,000 cards collected. Like, you have to think about 3,000 cards collected in the game is millions and millions of MT. And to think that Pascal Siakam, which is only 100,000 MT, is so similar to my man AD... Um, the other day, I was running both of them because I did pull them. And let me tell you, man, the duo of AD and Pascal Siakam is absolutely amazing. And if you haven't used them, they are the money line together. You can make a lot of MT. I really feel like Pascal is going to be a buyout. But then again, I think he's so good. He has a chance of actually being millions of MT, if not thousands of MT. And also, tomorrow, we are going to get the new gold players, okay? That's number one. New gold players are coming. 
Which instead, like, you're going to see Go Kareem drop in packs. If he doesn't drop in packs tomorrow, I will honestly just sit here in shock because, dude, that is crazy. Galaxy Opal goaded Kareem. He's going to have an insane three-point shot. This Galaxy Opal Kareem, first off, is absolutely one of the best centers in the game. I, I don't care what anybody says. Every time I use this Kareem, he has literally locked down the paint. His post hook is absolutely unstoppable. If you guys don't know, post hooks in this game with Galaxy Opals is always 99 and they always go in. They're, it's the cheat. If you would post hook the whole game, you're probably going to shoot 80% from the floor. That's how deadly post hooks are. And let me tell you, when that go Kareem drops, we are going to see one of the biggest market crashes ever in 2K history. So go Kareem with Galaxy Opal Shaq, Pink Diamond LeBron. I'm going to try to get that set done. I'm going to use Pink Diamond LeBron. I'm going to use that Galaxy Opal Shaq. I'm definitely going to try to get that set done. How much do I think it's going to cost? At least 1.5 to 2 mil because we are getting a Go Kareem. We also didn't see what else is in that set. There's only three cards that aren't hidden in that set. So it's probably going to be a bigger set. Most likely like the TakeOver set for uh, with Giannis in it. Like this set, man, this set's worth 3 mil about. About 2.5 mil. 2.5 mil for Scottie Pippen. It's not worth it, man. Giannis... Like I said, comparing him to the point guard Giannis, it's really the same card. I'm not going to say go balls out for this card, man. You're going to see his price drop. They're going to somehow drop a $2 million card. He's one of the most expensive cards in the game besides Michael Jordan. And yes, I don't understand why they made these cards so rare. Galaxy Opal MJ, GOAT MJ is literally, it's it's he's not even on the auction, I don't think. This card is so rare. There he is for 792 k these cards, man, he's at a mil with 17 hours left. These cards are too expensive. Let me tell you, I won't go Jordan. He does have 99 and everything, but let me tell you, man, these cards that you really want to buy, I'm telling you, stick to the cheaper Galaxy Ovals. If you're good at the game and you understand stats, you understand badges, most of these cards could somehow compete with these gold cards. If you have a solid lockdown center that's a Galaxy Opal, like Taco Fall, man, Taco Fall, is one of the best cards in the game, man. I'm telling you, every time I verse Taco Fall, he is OP. He locks down the paint. His 7-5 width fully evolved too. And he's paired up. Like, I'm telling you, man, Taco Fall is really legit. He really, he's really legit. And I'm telling you, for 100,000 MT versus all that grinding, all the Galaxy Obos you could get for millions of MT, it's not worth it, man. Like, Taco Fall, you see Taco Fall almost every single time you get into Unlimited. And then you verse him, and you have Shaquille O'Neal, and you're like, holy crap, Taco Fall is this OP? He's really that good. And let me tell you something. If you really want gold players, man, go get the grind, go get your MT up, whatever you want to do. I'm not going to say don't do it. I'm just saying that instead of paying 3 million MT for Jordan, go get the other Jordan. He's going to play somewhat similar, and you're still going to say you have the GOAT MJ on your team. That's all I'm saying. Yes, he is literally... 1% of his cost amount. Like, if you think about that, that is insane. He's literally 10%, like 8% of Goat Jordan's cost, and he's so much cheaper. And if not, almost the same exact card. Like, the perimeter and the steals at 99 and 98. So that's insane. He has 38 hauls. Yeah, his three point shot, he doesn't have Hall of Fame range, but still, he has all these stats. He's not all 99, 99, but he's. It, like, if you think about it, what are you going to do with Jordan? You're going to shoot the mid-range, which is a 99. You're going to shoot the post-fade, which is also a 99. And you're also going to dunk, which is a 98. You're also going to shoot threes, which is still a 94. So if you think about it, man, this MJ with 99 and 99 is still going to be just as good as $3 million MJ. I'm telling you, you could disagree. You could say I'm crazy. I don't care. I'm going to save my 3 mil MT in my pocket, and I'm just going to wait till some huge market crash comes, which is definitely going to be tomorrow when they drop. The new go cards, when the new go cards drop, how are you going to stay prepared? It's simple, man. It's simple. You literally just, you. I would say sell your cards today, but the market is crashed. So it's really just completely up to you. Joel Embiid, one of the best centers in the game for 220k. Kareem Goat, this card's cheap. Now, if this card, another investment, if that ad we saw in the PS4 store doesn't come out tomorrow, you will see Kareem drop, I mean, go up a lot. But then again, I'm we're way due for a promo coming out today, so it's hard to tell, I guess. It really is, man. Kawhi Leonard at 512k. Paul George is around the same price as him, so yeah, this... 
This mystery player, I think, is going to be Zion, man. We haven't heard anything about Zion. It's either the mystery player or this last player. Has to be Zion. So, yeah, that's really all we got for the video. I'm just going over the market, doing my strategies and stuff. But, yeah, if you want to sell your prime cards, you can go ahead. There's a lot to be talking about. But, yes, that's all we got for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for Hidden Galaxy Open Gameplay. Have a good one, guys. Peace.